Hello everybody, and this is Reviews and More, back with a arts and crafts kind of review. This is the Conduan, I realize I probably just butchered that pronunciation, Conduan uh, heat press for sublimation, vinyl transfers, and that kind of stuff. This is basically an off-brand version of Cricut's Easy Press. Uh, this is a 12 by 10 model. Um, it is just under $100 as of right now on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, I purchased it for about $89 back in, I think, November. So it was a lot, November or December. So it, was, it can be found cheaper than what the current price is, but right now you can get it for just under 100 bucks on Amazon. So this is what the thing sounds like real fast. Alright, so just keep in mind that that is what it sounds like. It's pretty quiet, so make sure you don't leave it on because it is just quiet enough to where you might not hear it. We're going to see a couple demonstrations here. One is doing a heat press onto metal, which is basically a, pol a white polymer coat or polymer coating over top of aluminum, and you're going to see the heat press happen. This is a good product. It works very well, and it is about 50 to 60 bucks cheaper than the Cricut comparison, the Easy Press, which mark is like 150, 160. Again, this was just under 100. So you see me here working with the heat press at 400 degrees for doing metal. Uh, metal is a good test subject because metal, in my opinion, is one of the hardest things to actually deal with because there's so many things that can go wrong. You can get water spots, water marks. You can get uneven pressing. So really if it can survive this it's it's a fairly good product so about a minute at 400 degrees and you'll see the results shortly thereafter um for this product product right i'm working on right now the metal little uh, christmas ornaments you saw it is basically just the weight of the press different items like shirts things like vinyl versus sublimation of an image onto fabric they might require like moderate pressure medium pressure it's kind of a subjective term but just understand that the harder you press the, the deeper it'll go in and if you do it too hard it can cause some bleeding effects um, with regard to um, vinyl which you'll see towards the end the key thing is making sure it's not too hot and to avo which avoids bleeding onto the fabric the fabric color onto your uh, vinyl product depending on how light the color is but overall it works really well um, once you get it once you get, get a hang of it it's pretty simple um, th this one I purchased because it was wide enough uh, you can get the uh, other models down like to a 9x9 nine nine, but I find 9x9 nine nine to be too small to be really functional for most projects. Um, I do a lot of license plate work and making vanity plates that kind of stuff so that it's just big enough to cover that and real fast you'll see me kind of taking these apart and you'll see how clear and crisp the images went on. It's just a little bass uh, image over top of the American flag. Super duper redneck but still pretty awesome. Notice no little spots, no real flaws in it so it does a very good job for a sub $100 arts and crafts item and again that's from Amazon and so ship delivered very simple to work with the only real thing you want to probably check is make sure that the thing is uh, sitting very flat um, it comes with a base that has silicone nubs on it so you don't have to worry about it, that you can leave it on without worrying about damaging surfaces it did not come with a pad. You have to buy the pad separately. So that is one one thing you got to keep in mind. So if you just buy the press without a pad, you'll kind of be out of luck. So here we go. Um, my wife is making a uh, Christmas outfit for my son. And this is going to be the, the basically a tacky sweater, more or less. And this is the more typical way you're going to use this heat press. Again, if you've never used this kind of heat press, this is kind of how it works. It replaces a, st a standard like sandwich press or a, uh, one that has like a big lever on it. But um, because you have more mobility with this, you kind of sacrifice the ability to have even heat. So with this, you've got to make sure you're moving it around constantly if you can't keep it on one single spot. So it's, it's perfect for when you are working on larger items that don't necessarily fit anywhere else. But it does require some movement back and forth and consistent going back and forth. If you don't, you can have parts that didn't get quite hot enough and you might get a couple bad pulls on vinyl. But overall, this thing's worked very, very well and I was very impressed with it. And uh, my fear was not buying the name brand. I'd end up with getting garbage so far. It's worked great. There's been no electrical issues. It looks perfectly safe. A little bit of smell when you first get it, I would recommend um, if you were to use it, make sure the first thing you should do is take it outside, plug it up, and let it sit hot for a while just to get off any residue from the factory, that kind of stuff. So other than that, that was the only real complaint that I can say I really had. Other than that, it's worked perfectly. Um, it's, we've done uh, some uniforms for a bowling team. We've done a whole lot of metal work because that's the main thing I do with it. 
But overall, I've been really, really happy with the product. And for under 100 bucks, it's better than spending 150 160 on the Cricut name brand thing. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.